all over social media, there's talk about masculine and feminine energy. But one thing that I know for sure that there are some feminine qualities that men crave. So in today's video, we're going to talk about eight of those qualities starting right now. everybody welcome back to another episode of keeping it real with keandra i am your host licensed marriage and family therapist keandra jackson now in order to make this video not be super duper long so i'm not gonna get into the whole masculine and feminine energy and all of those things i'm also exhausted about talking about that and hearing other people talk about it too but let's get into these eight qualities that i absolutely believe that men love the first quality the first feminine quality is the willingness to receive help I know some of y'all done clicked off the video already. <laughs> you have to be open and willing for a man to help and assist you. And I already know there's some women on here that's strong. I'm a strong woman. I'm a strong black woman. I'm a this, I'm a that. I can do it myself. I don't need no help. I don't need no man. Baby, keep up with that mentality. Go ahead and keep on saying and doing that because if you act like that, if that's what you internalize and if that's what you believe and that's what you think and truly feel, that's going to be your lived experience. So now you're going to have a problem trying to get men to show up for you, to be nice, to be chivalrous, to be a gentleman. You're always going to be like, well, he never helped me. Nobody ever came to my rescue. Well, that's the energy that you're giving off, sis. So please make sure that you allow men to help you in any situation and in any circumstance. Don't feel like you have to do it all. Oh, I got to carry the cases of water in the house by myself when it's a man sitting on your couch. Oh, I'm trying to change my own tire. Chill, let him put the picture up. Let him get that thing down off the top shelf. Let him do all of the things that he wants to do. Some things that you probably don't even really need his help with, but let him feel like you need his help. That's a gem right there that some of y'all are going to miss. Y'all are too busy trying to be strong, to be superwoman, having the S on your chest, being all things to all people, that you don't allow people to do things for you. And I know I'm laughing and being jokey about it, but I'm being for real serious now, and that is a problem. You don't know how to allow other people to show up for you when you need it. And I'm not just talking about in big old circumstances, but I'm talking about in the small, everyday things too. Let that man help you and receive it willingly. Not like, fine, I guess. I guess I'll let you. Oh, sure, go ahead. I mean, I could have did it, but I guess you could. Don't have that energy because guess what? He's never gonna wanna do for you again if you come with that vibe. The second feminine quality that men love is a tone of voice. <laughs> what I mean by this one is that sometimes it's not about what we say, it's really about how we say it. We can say one thing and it can come off harsh and real edgy and just a little bit more direct than me, but we can say the same exact thing, but with having a different tone, a softer tone, a different vibe, a different volume. <laughs> And it's gonna be received differently, right? So it's not just about what you say, it's about how you say it. Sometimes we just too loud and he just like, girl, bring it on down. If you just said that at a three and not be at a 10, the conversation will go a lot better. So that whole sweet tone of voice, it hits different. <laughs> I know I have a friend who's super country uh, and everything that she says is baby, is sweetie, is honey. And she talks like that to everybody, but specifically when she speaks that way to men and not even it being intentionally, it's just who she is. I feel like she gets a very much better response out of them than when she isn't saying honey, sweetie, baby, honey pooches, peaches, <laughs> you know, or whatever else she says to people. I think that she gets a more respectful response out of people. And it's because of her tone of voice. It's because of the language that she uses. It's because of her energy, her vibe. And they want to do things for her because she's like, oh yeah, thank you, baby. Go ahead, sweetie, and pick that up over there. And they're just like, okay, yes, sure, I'll do it. Same thing. The third feminine quality that men actually love is to trust your gut and your instinct. 
this one isn't for everybody. So you can say gut, you can say instinct. For me, it is the Holy Spirit. Whatever it is on the inside of you that determines when something is off or wrong, tap into that. And I'm saying to tap into it because one, it helps you, okay? But also too, when you are right, when you go with your gut, when you have firm values and you stand on business, and you are not swayed easily by what other people are doing or saying or not doing or saying, and you're you're sticking to what you believe in, that's very attractive to him because he knows that you're gonna be a consistent pillar in his life. He knows that one day you're not gonna be doing one thing and then the next day you're gonna flip out on him and do something different. He knows that you're gonna be a solid being because you're tapping into who you truly are. And I believe that women have, men have it too. But I believe that women have an innate gut instinct that we need to tap into. When something is off, we be knowing. <laughs> when something ain't right, we be like, I can't necessarily put my finger on it, but baby, something is off here and we need to go. Like we all have had situations and scenarios where you can't really explain it, but you're just like, something ain't right with that person, where we're at, the place, the location, and you're just like, it's best to remove myself. Don't just think that that was weird and that's a uh, one-off situation. That's your gut, your instinct, and your spirit telling you something that you need to pay a little bit more closer attention to. And I experience that men enjoy that. Men appreciate that. Men want more of that because if they're not fully tapped into their gut, their instinct, their spirit, it's helpful to have a woman who is. The fourth feminine quality that a man loves, I'm just gonna call this one clothes, shoes, and fragrance. I don't even know what else I need to say about this one. I'm not telling you to dress differently than what you're comfortable with. I'm not telling you to dress outside of how you feel. I, I'm not saying dress a certain way if that's not, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that men love women who dress confidently, whatever their style is. I know women that are more kind of like what we would call quote unquote tomboyish, right? They have on sneakers and they may have on baggier jeans or whatever. And they are attracted to certain men and men are attracted to them as well. So it's not about wearing anything that's skimpy or too tight or too short. But what I am saying is that every now and then you need to pop out on him with a surprise. So having something that's a little bit brighter in color, ladies, I know I got on black today in a little darker, you know, a little purple situation, <laughs> but having something that's brighter and not like black and gray and dark colors all the time, I can't even tell you how many times people have came up to me when I've had on like a bright yellow dress or a blue dress or purple or something. They're just like, you look really nice today. And I believe that the color reels them in, right? Because if I had on something that's the same color, but it was black, I don't get as much compliments or as many compliments as that. So colors matter. Also too, wearing something a little bit tighter, a little bit brighter and a little bit lighter <laughs> can go a long way. I mean, if you have a nice body, why not, you know, show what you're working with every now and then. I'm not saying give it all away and don't leave anything to the imagination, but I do believe that men love women who can look good and be confident in what they have on. So if wearing oversized clothes isn't a style for you, but you're trying to hide something. So you're wearing clothes that are three sizes too big and you wonder why nobody's paying you no attention. Sis, go ahead, work through your self-esteem issues, your, your body image issues, and then wear clothes that are your size and see what the attention is like from men. The fifth feminine quality that men love is women who are supportive. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with my homeboys where they were just like, man, she really was there for me. Man, she really showed up to my event. Man, she really called and checked on me when so-and-so died. Man, she was really there for me. Man, she really... And stuff like that goes a long way. And I know that we always feel like we're supposed to be the ones he's supposed to do for us. We're the pillow princess. But a lot of the times, baby, there needs to be, actually all of the time, let's be real, there needs to be reciprocity in relationships, in dating, in interest, right? And so just like you want that man to be there for you and showing up for you emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, all of the things, you need to do the same thing for him and not expect it to be one way because at some point, they're going to get tired of giving, giving, 
giving, giving, giving some more and you're not reciprocating some type of giving as well. Needless to say, show up for that man. Do something unique for him. Let him know that you care about him. Show up to his event. Support him in class. Help him with his homework. Do something <laughs> that shows him like I'm rocking with you and I'm doing this because this has absolutely no connection to me having a benefit for me, but I'm doing this because I want to help you and be there for you. It goes a long way. The sixth feminine quality that a man loves is a sense of humor. Do not be out here being boring, being so flat faced, not having any fun, any humor, no wit about yourself, no energy. You know, like men love a little bit of banter, a little back and forth, something that's going to be fun. You're not always so serious all the time. Life is serious enough. Okay, every now and then I want to act dumb and be stupid and act silly intentionally just to lighten the mood, right? And not to have all of the, the weight of the world on my shoulders. I want to know that I could be funny and silly with my guy and he not going to look at me crazy, but he can also be funny and silly with me if he feels like that too. So making sure you have some type of sense of humor in your relationship is key. And if you're someone who's never really had a sense of humor, go get one. Find out how to have some. Do something because eventually, if not, it's gonna get a little stale and boring. The seventh, and you know we got eight because we got a bonus coming in after this. The seventh feminine quality that men love is passion. And I'm gonna throw in slash passionate in the bedroom. I wasn't even planning on talking about sex because you know I got tons of videos that I'll link up here <laughs> about sex on my channel that you guys love. But I think that men appreciate women who are passionate about something or who has passion about a thing. Whether that is a career, whether that is a goal, whether that is a class, whether that is a book, whether that is about clouds, have something <laughs> that you enjoy, that you like, that you're passionate about that gives you joy, that fuels you up, that is attached to your values, have something that sparks that level of interest in you. I think that that's a quality that men appreciate because if not, they're just like, well, what are you doing your whole life? You're just not passionate about anything. You have no goals. You're just going to work, coming home, sleeping, doing it all over. What? <laughs> Get a passion. And I'm not even saying, even if it's a hobby, do something that is going to make your life fulfilling and interesting. And since we're talking about passion or passionate, when you are passionate about a thing, track me here. <laughs> when you're passionate about your career or a book you just read or a hobby and he sees that you're diligent in that thing, sometimes that energy that you have on a particular thing or a hobby or extracurricular activity can translate to the bedroom if you are having sex with this person. So if you are being intimate, with this person, because not everybody is. Some people are abstaining, some people are celibate, some people are taking breaks from having sexual intercourse with people. Whatever your journey is, sometimes that energy is transferable. So if he see you being passionate and you going all in about this thing, he knows that baby, you have the capacity to be passionate and go all in in that bedroom too. And that's gonna benefit him and you. Moving on to the last one, number eight, the eighth feminine quality and trait that men love is respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. In the words of Aretha, find out what it means to me, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. <laughs> but in all seriousness, men love respect. They thrive off of respect. So if you are finding that you are disrespecting your man or you're lacking respect for him because of how he's showing up or not showing up or what he said or what he's done, have a conversation about that, explore that, figure out how you can rectify that because long-term lack of respect or disrespect is not going to go over well with him. I can guarantee at some point he is going to get tired, he's going to be done, he isn't gonna to want to deal with it anymore because men thrive off of respect while women thrive off of security. So make sure you're doing what needs to be done so you can get and reap the benefits as well. So my final thoughts on this topic is that there's tons of qualities that I could have mentioned outside of these eight that men crave, especially feminine qualities. There's tons of other ones that I wanted to include, but I didn't want this video to be super long, but I just 
wanted you to be aware of some of the uncommon ones because it's not just about what you look like physically or what you have on or wearing high heels or makeup or wearing your hair a certain way. While some of those are factors and they do matter, that's why we had a conversation about clothes, shoes, fragrance. Oh, we didn't even talk about smelling good. Fragrance, Whew. men love that. Smell good, okay? I'm not just talking about getting in the shower and smelling like soap. I'm talking about perfume, body sprays, fragrances. Get you a signature scent that he loves and every time you're around him, he smells that. <laughs> Thank me later. Anyway, so making sure that it's not just about the physical aspect, that there's other qualities that men love that are feminine, that they can relate to, that they want more of, just like there's other qualities in men that women love, which I'll probably do another video about that later. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.